they won't come all the way to the door. There's a static mat, and that keeps them from charging the door. Well, this? This is uh, a static mat. Seriously? Yes. Yes, it just gives them a little 9-volt shock. And that way, we don't have to worry about them running at the mailman or oh, okay. running out the door when friends come in. So if I touch this now? Yes. So it's like, aye. The static mat is not a great idea. It can cause a lot of psychological damage as well as being extremely aye. painful. It's so sad that you have to have your dogs in fear or electrocute them. Is that on low or high? That's on low. That was low? Yeah. Wow. If I felt that electric shock that badly and, and that was on low, goodness knows what it feels like to the paws of a dog. It does its job. For the most part, it keeps them from running out the door. As the years have gone on, they know how to work the mat. They know if they jump over it, they're OK. Although they won't come back in the house, they'll, they'll run out. The static mat isn't even working 100%. To demonstrate, Robin brings the dogs around the front door. Jovi, come on. While Jovi has learned to jump over the mat, Guinness and Justice hold their ground. Do you guys want to come in? So she will, but they won't. The dogs will not come through the front door at all. You can have a leash on them, try to pull them in, they will not come in. So when we walk the dogs, we take them out the side gate. Come on. Come on, guys. Smart dogs. It was really sad to watch. Sometimes they'll leap over the mat to get out, so it's not that effective, really. But they didn't want to come back into the house. They were scared. Why are you relying on a mat that's going to give your dog an electric shock if it steps on it? There are smarter ways to train. I mean, when I put my hand on that mat, it gave me a jolt. They're afraid of it. But of course. They won't step on it now. How do you feel, though, about your dogs being fearful, so fearful, in fact, that they won't actually come in through the front door? They'll still jump out over the mat sometimes, but they won't walk in. How do you feel about that? I'm OK with that. That doesn't bother me. So you're OK with giving uh, an electric shock to your dogs? Yeah because they learned the first time. I'm coming to train you. And you know you know me, I don't like electric stuff. I don't like things that shock a dog and make a dog fear. To begin, Victoria wants to make sure all the training from now on is cruelty free. I would like to address the whole static mat issue. OK. And I'd like to teach the dogs not to go out of the door when the door's open. That would be wonderful. Without the static mat. We've had the static mat for so long, and that's what we relied on. So when Victoria said she was going to take it away, I think I was a little hesitant because I wasn't sure if it was going to work. I'm going to show these dogs that I'm removing the mat. This thing is going in the trash, puppies, OK? This is going to be the line. They do not cross when I'm here at the door. I wanted to draw a line for the dogs, and that was the threshold. That's where the dogs cannot pass. And any time the dog passes, all I do is go up to the dog and body block. I'm just basically claiming the space with my body. You know, as you walk into a dog, the dog walks back. Yes. And using a hand signal, your body is strong, you're direct, using eye contact, and you don't allow the dogs to fail. Do you know what right. I mean? Because as soon as they cross the line, you're right there. I like to use a vocal command too, as well as a hand signal, so I'm going to say wait. I introduced the wait command. It shows the dogs you have to wait behind the threshold. You can't come any further. Wait. Justice can go off. Now wait, up, up. Good. Rewards are motivators. So there's good consequences for what they just did. Good. Next, Victoria has Maddie take over while she knocks on the door. Wait. Wait. I was a little apprehensive, and I didn't think we would be able to keep the dogs from going out the door with it open. Wait. Go push it back the line, that's it. 
Sweet. Good. I'm just so excited about how quickly they're picking it up. Good doggy. Lovely. Good doggy. Very good, Maddie. Fabulous. All right, I'm going to go out again. Take it away, Robin. Hi. Wait. 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 The way the training went was amazing. Um, didn't expect it to happen so fast. It did. The dogs responded really well. I don't think we'll ever have to take the mat out again. Okay, good baby. Good baby. Good. Good. With the static mat gone for good, Victoria wants to reassure the dogs that it is now safe to come through the front door. For approximately four years, both Justice and Guinness have not walked back into the house through the front door because they've been too scared because of the static mat. I therefore wanted to work with Justice and Guinness to condition them to see that the front door actually was a good place and not a scary or painful place. So what I want to see is if I can coax the dogs back through the door. OK. And I think what we'd start is I'm, I'm going to open this door here. OK. Like this. And then we can just sort of sit down. So, Matt, do you mind just sitting down on here? The reason why I got them to sit down was so that they were at the dog's level and the dogs would get trust and comfort from them. They're comfortable here, and we have to make this, again, a comfortable place to be. OK. When Victoria first brought us to the front, I thought, this is going to take forever. There is no way. Now, I just want you to give them a few treats, because as you can see, he's pulling away from it. He still doesn't feel comfortable. Right. But let's see if we can have Justice come in along. Hey. Guinness. Guinness. Guinness, come. What's that? Almost got it. Gradually, I got Maddie and Robin to move back, seated, to encourage the dogs to come with them. Hey, Jay. Good boy. Come on, Jay. Come on, Jay. Justice. Come on, Justice. Come on. Good girl, JJ. Yeah. It's absolutely crazy that it worked the way it did, and it just happened so quickly. Come on, Jay. Come on. Oh, good girl. Yay. Yes. Left on their own for a few days, Robin and Maddie are doing their best to keep up with the training. Come on. Come on, guys. Come on. Let's go. Let's go in the house. Come on. Bringing the dogs into the front door is just like we never had the static mat. They cross with no problems. Later on, they've arranged to have another guest come by to work on the wait command. Back. Come on. Back. The wait command at the door has been a little bit frustrating with three dogs. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Robin. Oh. How you doing? Back. Back. Toby. Come on. I think we're going to need a little more help from Victoria with training the dogs at the door. It's just too hard. Wait. Hi there. Hello. Come on in. Wait. 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 You have to stay with it. Keep those dogs back using body blocking and be consistent because that's the only way it's going to work. Guinness. Uh, Jojo needs back. to go over there. Back. Back. JJ, go. In there. Go get her, Joe. OK, you stay. Stay. Hi. Come on in. Stay. <coughs> Not yet. Very nice. Maddie did actually a really good job of keeping the dogs behind the threshold, much better than I seen them do while I was away. I've been watching you, but what you did there was pretty good. I was so impressed because we were very concerned about you coming. I see your first guest, so take it away, oh, okay. OK? Great. Who's at the door? Back. Wait. Good boy. As their guests Wait. arrive, Robin gets a chance to practice the door training. Good. Wait, come on in. Wait. Uh, wait. There you go. Just wait. Get your body. There you go. Wait. That's it, body block. Wait. Come on in. The door's shut. shut Don't the use door. your hands. Wait. Wait. 
Okay. Lovely. Alleluia. Beautiful. You, you did it. Since Victoria's been gone, um, it's been going great. We're really working together. Great. The dogs are doing awesome, and the house is much more peaceful.